What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we are going to go over what to not do in NBA 2K21 My Team right now. So, whew, we're going to go over a lot of things that you guys should not be doing right now in NBA 2K21. Okay, uh, before we get into it guys, let's smash that like button. After this video, we are going to drop the number one empty making method in the game. Okay. So make sure to smash the like button. Let's try to hit 40 likes on this video, 50 likes on the other video. And we are dropping the best way to make MT in NBA 2K21. And also, if you guys do want MT, make sure to hit me up on Twitter, Instagram. I am buying and selling MT. Also, doing riding services. Hit me up down below. And let's just get right into this video. So, guys, rule number one in NBA 2K21 is do not go for XP whatsoever. Okay? You can get up to my level. That's fine. I really only did domination. Um... Do not go for Curry, okay? John Stockton is just as good, and Curry is literally one person in the world has him. So, rule number one, do not go for Curry. Um, literally, don't waste your time. It is hours and hours of grinding. Rule number one, no Curry. These rewards are not good at all. They are doo-doo. For the grind you have to put in, these rewards are absolute trash. The only one that I could you could possibly get is Bob Lanier. I did not get him. If you get him, congratulations. He's going to be outdated very soon. But don't go for Curry, guys. It is the biggest waste of time. Okay, next up, what we got in NBA 2K20. Do not make these mistakes. Is simply the biggest one yet. Okay, do not lock in any sets right now. Don't lock in sets, period. Last year, I was an MT millionaire. This year, I'm already an MT millionaire. And rule number one, if you lock in sets, you gotta be crazy, okay? The only set I might recommend locking in is this set right here, maybe. But instead of locking in, I, you can make profit off this Mono Ginobili. Um, so guys, any set in NBA and N 2K, any set, no matter how good the set is, don't lock it in. That's rule number one, period. If you lock in this set, guys, all these pink diamonds that are about to come out, they're all gonna be outdated in about two to three months. So yeah, you could lock in a set, but then again, you could lose lots of MT. And realistically, guys, for all the people that locked in this set right here, man, like Gary Payton, he's not good. And what else? The back-to-back -back set, Dennis Robin, he's not good either. Yes, it does lock in for a pink diamond, but all these cards locking in, guys, these are 500k MT more. Like this Ben Wallace, guys, is literally won the auction block. You never, ever, 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 ever lock in sets. Never. Do not. Never lock in sets no matter what. Even if it's the first Galaxy Oval for a lock in, don't do it. It's not worth it. It never will be. Because in the next week, they will drop Ovals in packs. Or they will drop Dark Matters in packs. Or Pink Diamonds in packs. Just don't lock in sets. It's a waste of your time. It's a waste of MT. And realistically, that lock in card isn't going to be good for more than a week or two. So. That is just the number one thing. That's the number one thing. Rule number two. Rule number three, I should say. This mistake right here, guys, a lot of you make. You have to sell all your cards when I sell you to, okay? Um, if you guys play a lot of my park, you don't play a lot of my team, you just hop here, hop there. Well, here's the thing, guys. You should sell every card you have on Wednesday, pick up cards again Friday. That is a mistake I see a lot of the time. A lot of people hold on to cards and they just lose value throughout the weeks. You want to buy and resell every Wednesday. Buy Wednesday, sell Friday. It's the easiest method ever. Not only that, guys, sniping on Fridays is the best thing to do in NBA 2K21. And NBA 2K20, Friday is the day to snipe. Why? There's some sick content every Friday in which I sell my cards Wednesday, unless there is some certain cards you should not sell yet, such as Mono Ginobili, John Stockton, and Christos Porzingis. Other, every other card in your collection, you should sell. Why, guys? The market crashes every single Friday. 
this is the best rule I could give you. Wednesday is a must sell. Unless you could sell Sunday, Monday, or Wednesday, or Thursday, that's fine too. Just have your MT ready for Friday. That is a major, major mistake. Next mistake we got is grinding unlimited, guys. Whew, my record's trash. I'm not going to say it's not. I'm still trying to get used to this game on rookie difficulty, guys. Unlimited is the biggest waste of your time ever. Like, I gave up grinding it. Literally, do not grind Unlimited unless you get a fire award and you're really good at the game. Unlimited, you have to get all the way to the Galaxy Opals here. And you have to go 12-0 to get a pink die on Paul Pierce. In which, Paul Pierce will be outdated in about, I give it three weeks, two weeks. So, do not grind Unlimited. If you're, unless you just like playing Unlimited, go ahead, grind it. It's not worth it, guys. The only reward you get is in the end. If you don't make it to the end, you make it all the way to the end, and you don't get Pierce, you got Jack. Only thing you lost is MT and Contracts. So, realistically, guys, Unlimited is a big mistake. Same with Triple Threat Online. You're wasting hours. The only thing that I can say is good about this is tokens, okay? Um, realistically, man... These mistakes are made a lot. And another mistake, guys, is literally just you got to sell your cards every Wednesday. You never hold on to your cards no matter how good they are. You got to sell. Obviously, some cards are different than other cards. But if you have like Amethyst, Rubies, and Diamonds, when you're watching this, this could be later in the year. You guys have to sell these cards, man. You have to sell these cards no matter what. Um, especially if I tell you to sell them. But pretty much, my top three mistakes in my team right now are locking in sets. Locking in sets is the biggest thing. You never, ever, 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 ever lock in sets. Number two is not selling your cards when you should. You have to sell your cards every week. I know it's my team, but that's how it works. Cards get outdated every week. For instance, man, my Giannis Antetokounmpo. I got him for 50K. I held on to him because it's Giannis. I will never get rid of him. His 50K went down around 30,000 MT. I lost 20K MT like that. Another card, man... And go on and on. Um, Amethyst Jordan was around 100,000 MT when he dropped. He's around 70K MT. Uh, Derek Rose. Like, this is just a bunch of cars. And honestly, man, you could invest in them. You just got to make sure that you sell them before the next week. Other than that, man, that's really my top, top, top mistakes. Like, there's a lot of mistakes, but those are the biggest mistakes. Definitely locking in and not selling your cards every week. Those are the, my top two mistakes. Um, but yeah, other than that, man, that's all we got for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Smash that like button if you're new. Have a good one, guys. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. Links down below for the cheapest, fastest, reliable MT on the internet right now.